You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Is genetic testing a good idea for breast cancer early stage? Most definitely. That's the okay. best time to get it. Yeah. Yeah, well, definitely. Okay. Doubt. Tell us a little bit more. Make your make your case. <laughs> um, how much time do we have? We have a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm not going to sure, make a very good I'm case. I'm sure Sharon will stick minutes. around for that answer. <clears throat> um, there's so many different subtypes of breast cancer. Ah. Uh, there's so many different targeted therapies and drugs available. Um, you know, traditional pathology just does not do diagnostics justice. Mm. And so genetic testing should be done for every cancer, especially breast cancers, mm -hmm. because it just gives you an indication of what drugs are going to work for you, mm -hmm. and what drugs are not, and if there's an inherited component. Mm. Something to keep in mind also is uh, genetic testing can be done in two different ways. It can be done with a tissue biopsy, if there's been one taken for you, Sharon, um, uh, mm -hmm. or it can be done through a blood test. Uh, so there, there are a few differences between the kinds of things that can be discovered or how big certain panels are, um, but if you don't have tumor tissue, if you haven't had a biopsy or the biopsy went sideways or didn't turn out very well, which is very common um, currently anyway, uh, then uh, that don't fear, there's still uh, an, uh, like hundreds of possible mutations that you can test for. And the other thing I want to say about that is uh, because there's been so much publicity about breast cancer and particularly what Alice was talking about earlier, that BRCA1 and BRCA2, those two, two different genes, um, a lot of times uh, if a public health care doctor uh, is providing you some genetic testing, it's going to be looking at w one or two genes, um, which is so much better than nothing. Uh, certainly we're not complaining and it's important that you know that there are hundreds and hundreds of genes that can be tested for uh, and any and all of those could be working in tandem even if you do have that BRCA1 gene for example you could have three or four or even 20 other mutations I mean, we've seen patients reports come back with more than 20 mutations well yes definitely there's uh... A multitude of mutations. Yes, and each one of those mutations will affect how your cancer care works. Uh, even if the cancer care is meant to be targeting the BRCA1 gene, if you have a few of these other mutations, that can make it uh, not work so well. Exactly. Yeah, so the point is genetic testing always absolutely preferably some inherited mutation testing right now, even if you don't have cancer in the family and there's no reason to think you do because that allows you to stay right on top of it and catch it before it's a problem. Um, but if you do have cancer, then uh, a nice big genetic testing panel to look at all the possible targets, um, which we're running out of time, but yes. in case you don't know, it's really important that you understand that uh, standard chemo and radiation work very differently from these new targeted therapies. I mean, Alex just gave you an example uh, of, I mean, 67% response rate is just it's, it's it's, something. It's so yeah. exciting, it really, is, yes. that so many of those it's people a, are still alive today. Now. Yeah, that's wonderful. And that and that is one of the toughest diseases to treat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's so much that can be done for diseases like breast cancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.